Hey guys, I wanted to record a video for you today because I had a realization moment that I thought I would share. I gotta admit with you guys, I've been feeling a bit depressed lately. And I haven't been wanting to share anything because I don't want to sound like a bummer. Um, I... Uh, I had this dream a long time ago, like I'm talking a year and a half, long, long time ago, maybe about a year, maybe not a year and a half, but it was, it was quite a while ago. And it was when I was in the trenches of the spiritual warfare and I wasn't in the word and I was afraid, like extremely afraid that I was going to lose my salvation and I didn't understand uh, my position in Christ, and I didn't understand how valuable I am to the Lord and and anything. So at this point, I just, I prayed and I said, Lord, please, please give me a dream. I need a rapture dream. I need to know if I'm going, if I'm, if I'm worthy to go. And I, I just, I need this, I need this assurance. And I had this dream where I was in this crystal ballroom and it was like the area where we're going to get our rewards and where the marriage supper would be. And it was a rehearsal and it was just me sitting in this room and this woman who was in a previous dream of mine was saying, don't worry, we all get third place. And I didn't understand what that meant. And I still don't really fully understand what that means. Um, and so after that, it changed. It flashed to another part of the dream. And I've shared this last year in my videos. And I don't know if I've deleted it because I deleted a lot of videos with my face being shown. But in this dream... I was in my mansion, and part of it was like 70s, early 80s, like style, and part of it was being renovated, and it was um, like newer, and the kitchen was newer, and so in this dream, I went to the front door, and there was a knock at the door, and I opened the door, and... Rob Snyder, he's a comedian, he was dressed all in black, he barged in, he started fighting with me, and as we were fighting, I had the upper hand, and I had an extra hand loose, I had some sort of, like, um, Muay Thai, or some sort of thing that I've seen on UFC, I don't know how to do any of this stuff, but I had him in a hold, and he was at my mercy, and in my foyer area, for some reason, there was a bunch of weapons in a garbage can. And when I went into the garbage can, there was knives and all these big weapons to kill him. And I'm like, I don't want to kill him. And as soon as I, gra I grabbed his hammer, and on top of his head, there was a nail that just showed up. Like a, like a, a nail, a big one. And so I hit... The, the nail on the head of, of Rob Schneider, this actor, and he didn't die, but what happened was he turned into this cat and he was fell asleep under this table. It was like, as soon as I hit him, he was like, he instantly changed and he was under this table and it was off to the side of the foyer, like right beside, uh, to the right of the foyer, and I went into the kitchen and there was a bunch of angels sitting at the table playing cards, and he was sleeping under the table. And then I proceeded to put the hammer into the freezer for some reason. I don't, like, a lot of this I don't understand. And I was walking down this hallway, and this wrestler guy came out of the bathroom, and... His name was Dean Ambrose. He's a wrestler off of um, the WWE, and I don't understand why 
Dean Ambrose was in my mansion house and, and he was going, I can't remember if he was going into the washroom or he was coming out, but I remember that he, he was there. And I walked over and I saw my brother and his wife downstairs. And this was a huge mansion. And I heard my mom and my friend Ron were hanging out in, I think, playing cards in another room. And there was a lot of happiness and peace and everything. But it felt like um, I had to go to the actual... Um, it wasn't a rehearsal anymore. It was the the ball or the ceremony. And, and I knew once I woke up, this was the marriage supper of the Lamb. And I knew I had to go. And when I grabbed my phone, I was going to ask my brother to give me a ride. I had one phone that was old and one phone that was brand new. And the buttons were 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 broken off. And it was the nine and the one. And so uh, I got this new phone and it was really awesome. And I was extremely excited for this new phone. And I just remember I'm going to go and catch the train. I was going to ask my brother for uh, a ride, but I was going to catch the train to this ceremony. Now this dream I haven't thought about in a long, long time, but I knew that there was something to do with the new phone, the 91, and the train, catching the train to go to the dinner. And it was just huge. This this room was it was all crystal. Everything was crystal. The chairs, the tables, the the big it had like a runway, like a models would walk on, but it was for whatever, I think for people to get their rewards and to be honored and and it was just huge all crystal so i knew it meant um the the time where we get our crowns and everything but it was a rehearsal when i was first there so anyways this new phone okay when i got up the next day on my uh on my cell phone i get a bible verse and it was psalm 119 and I read the whole thing. It's like mega huge. And that 119 has always stuck with me. It's it's like, what does 119 signify? And and maybe it'll, it'll mean something because there was a 1 and the 9 that was off, broken off the phone. And this phone was just a piece of garbage. Like, like everything was falling apart. It just, it was, it just was horrible. And that I, this new phone really made me happy. Now in my real life, I am getting a new phone tomorrow. This phone that I have now that I'm recording on, everything is falling apart on the sides. I have this case that's literally falling apart. And the phone is like three years old, two years old. I can't remember when I got it, but it is just a piece of garbage. Like it's it's adequate, but I it's my birthday in April. And so I thought I would treat myself to a phone. And I had no recollection of putting it together until today. And I really thought about this dream again. It's been so long. And that, um, and what's really weird is I ordered it off Amazon. And it got scanned going out of the seller's uh, warehouse at 119. Now this just... I. I know it's all could be nothing, but it's it's getting me thinking about how possibly it could be extremely close that we're we're out of here. Now I don't know what the train means. I don't know what all the rest of it. It's it's um it's an old dream and I just I know that we have mansions and I don't know why half of it would be retro and the other half would be renovating and but all i know is what stuck out at this at the very end of the dream were these phones and the one and the nine and then getting psalm 119 and what happened yesterday you know when you get something you're excited you're constantly looking at the updates of where it is 
and and where the scanning codes is and you know i get the the prime amazon so i get it in two days and i'm just super excited and for it to be scanned at 119 and it, it just uh it was it, it can't be a coincidence so i don't know i thought i would share that with you guys today i don't know if it's exactly encouraging um but it's something that i wanted to share because it did excite me and I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm so excited for the arrival of this phone. And it doesn't compare to the arrival of Jesus Christ. You know, no thing, you know, I'm sure this phone will, will make me happy for a couple days. And, and then it's just a phone. Then it's just another thing in my life. But I truly believe the Lord uses things to to foreshadow and 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 uh, reveal himself, you know, through through dreams and visions that, you know, he knows everything. He, he knows the beginning, the end from the beginning. He's the Alpha and the Omega. And for him to foreshadow this, um, it's, uh, it's very cool. So I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, I love you. And if I don't see you in the clouds tonight, I'll have another message for you very soon. Peace be with you.